time to get the answer to this burning question from OG. Why do I keep getting shocked when I touch things? It also happens when people touch me, I shock them. I'm quoting OG here. I can't be that electrifying, she says, and I definitely don't have superpowers, or do I? Very OG here. <laughs> so joining us to explain all of this is our surprise celebrity guest. Here we go. She's an author, a scientist, college chemistry professor. She has a PhD in inorganic chemistry, so I think she's qualified to help us here. Please say hello to the one and only Dr. Kate Bierberdorf, a.k.a. Kate the Chemist. Thanks for having me. We I'm know so how to do an introduction here. on here, and it's, it's, it's a top secret piece of paper too. So uh, you have the, and you also, by the way, are the author of this phenomenal book. It's Elemental. Um, so this is a great question. So OG, let's bring an OG to the conversation mm -hmm. here because this specifically happens in the winter time, right, OG? Hi, Dr. K. Good morning. Hi. I don't know when it happens. I forget that it's winter time, but I just know that even leaving the building, even, it's now in my head. Whenever I want to leave the door, I have to tap it first because I don't want to get shocked. Or if someone touches me, like, ooh, you're shocking me. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. Even my car. So do I have issues? Should I consult? Well, that's like... a different conversation, <laughs> yes. Uh, no, you don't have issues. Okay. No, you can blame the cold weather for this. Okay. So there's two main factors that happen. The first one is that in the cold weather, we are layered up with hats and scarves and all these wool material. And when we put something like a hat or a scarf on, it's going to essentially steal the electrons from our hair. So we can kind of mock this or mimic it with a balloon. And so hopefully you guys can see this at home. But when I do this, right? So all the electrons are jumping from my hair to the balloon. Now, my hair ends up being positively charged, which I can just like, ah, run my hands over it and fix that. Yeah. Or what happens is as soon as I touch anything, and I mean anything like a doorknob or your car, anything metallic, the electrons are going to jump from that material and get you with it. So that's oh. the first thing. The second thing is the fact that in winter, it's not very humid. So there's not very many water yeah. molecules hanging out here. And so in the summer, in the spring, the water molecules can donate their electrons and we don't get shocked as much because it neutralizes the charge. But when it's dry with low humidity, no water molecules, no electron uh, transfer, you charge, babe. Like you are gonna, anything you touch is going to get you a shock. Uh, and OG, you're supercharged. <laughs> so but here's the thing, Dr. Kate. So how do you protect yourself against it, right? So, you know, because OG says, you know, you tap the doorknob and sometimes, mm -hmm. you know, it's a real quick, like, thing. So it's not as bad as what you were to grab it. And it's like, whoa. Mm -hmm. So how do you protect yourself besides, like, spraying yourself head to toe in static guard? Mm -hmm. That actually is my number one recommendation is to use dryer sheets. Um, after you take your hat and scarf off, oh. use a dryer sheet all over your head. Yeah, because it has this really big molecule Plus in there that smell releases great. ions. Uh, and you'll smell great, yeah. <laughs> the second thing is get a humidifier, put it in your office, put it in your house. <laughs> And the, the last one is you can actually purposely discharge yourself. So you can hold a coin or a paper clip in your pocket. And before what? you touch anything, you use that coin first to touch the doorknob, to touch oh. your car. And then it will go through that and you won't get shocked. Wait a second. Get out of Wait. town. Wait. Really? Can, what about a key? So can you use a, like a key? Yeah. Like a, yep. Oh. Yep. You so can just grab a metal them. to metal surface. That's all it needs because the electrons, they want to jump. I mean, honestly, you've probably seen this before at night when you've like yeah. ripped open a blanket. And yes. They want to jump, so they yeah. don't even have to touch. But if you make it touch, then it will transfer through the coin the and then it will go through your body instead of jumping to your body and then your right. finger feels it. Those, those oh. electrons are the only thing jumping in that bed. So, <laughs> I... but here's, so here's the thing. So right, my here's the thing. How does static guard work, right? When you spray it and like what is happening in that process? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they have really big molecules. And so this one, the best one is called dipalamido ethyl hydroxy ethyl ammonium methyl sulfate. Yeah. I have to write oh, that yeah, one down yeah, because I can't it, memorize that. That's it, yeah. <laughs> but basically it releases these charged ions and upon heat or friction. So if you rub that on yourself like that, um, any type of heat, it actually releases those ions and it neutralizes the charge. Wow. I, yeah, it's cool. I'm concerned. <laughs> Dr. Kate, first of all, I love you. I love the periodic chart behind you. My son is knee deep in chemistry, which makes me cry every night. But as, I'm, as OG brought this to our attention, I was trying to think to the last time I got shocked. It's been a while. Am I dead inside? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have no... What is it? Why aren't I, why aren't I shocking this anything? This explains everything. So there could be a number of different things. So I shock people all the time because I drag my feet. And so I'm yeah. building up charge all the time. So it could be something like that. My husband will do it. He'll drag his feet and then kiss me. So the electrons go just to my lips. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah, it's terrible. And so it could be the way you walk. It could be the fact that you fidget. And so you're actually releasing charge all the time. You don't even realize it. So the charge doesn't build up in you. Okay. Whereas someone like me who drags their feet or like, anything like that, you can actually build up the charge and get more shock. So I'm, I'm on OG side. I get shocked more often mm -hmm. than not.
Yeah, mm -hmm. my, my little one thought she had special powers because everything <laughs> she touched. But it's more helpful than if you don't wear socks. What if, you, what if you're barefoot in the house? Is that better? It could be, yeah. So if we go real knee deep in the science, you actually can look up something. It's called the Tribal Electric Series. And so you can Google it. And it's this big, long thing. And we rank all the materials. And it tells you how the electrons transfer. And on the really good charts, you can see at the very, very top is something that says human hands, but it's also human feet as well. Mm. And so what you can see is we usually have moisture, especially if you're a nervous person. And so you have the water mm. there. Um, and so if you're touching yourself or anything like that, the water is actually going to help and deliver those yeah. electrons. Oh, that's interesting. Mm. I don't sweat, though. But yeah, I'm so you share your love of science in several books. Dr. K, here's the new one. It's Elemental, the hidden chemistry in everything. What can people expect in this book? Uh, in that book, I tell you about my favorite types of chemistry. So I go through the busiest day of your life, so from breakfast to an early morning workout, all the way down to the chemistry in the bedroom. And I honestly Ooh. just highlight my favorite parts of chemistry, and I just try to make people fall in love with it because it's my favorite thing in the entire world. As you can see, I love it. Dan I'm is just, flipping through those pages. I so really quick am. That chapter. I, He's looking for that chapter right now. Yeah. I, I just love. I just love how excited you are about chemistry. Me too. Uh, Me too. I, I well, I had a great high school teacher. Honestly, she oh, ran around the classroom, lit stuff on fire. Mrs. Kelly Palsrock. Shout out to you, love oh. you. Um, but she got me excited when I was 15, and I've never looked back. Well, you're also smart. That. That's why. See the power of teachers. Tell me yeah. one thing. One thing I don't know in this where, book. Where <laughs> Anything. <do we> start? <laughs> That's Anything. everything. Anything. Everything. Uh, Page one. The do preface. you know how caffeine works? Oh, do, do tell because we were on okay, cup so. 70. Yeah. <laughs> So caffeine actually doesn't give you energy. Um, so it blocks another molecule from making you feel drowsy. And so it's essentially a bouncer for your brain. So that's something in the book. I go through and talk about that. So could you drink decaf and it would have the same effect? Uh, no, because you need to have the, so the, the molecule is called trimethylxanthine. And what it does is it goes in and it blocks adenosine. And so adenosine is the one that makes you feel drowsy. So you need to get something in there to block adenosine. Yeah, well, I can also rattle off those fancy names. Too, okay? <laughs> okay. No, we can't. All right. No, we can't. Hold on here. What is this Holy one? Holy moly. This one is called salt. <laughs> Good. Sodium chloride. <laughs> Sodium chloride. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Thank Iron FB. You. <laughs> you see, huh? huh? Dr. Kate, wow. we appreciate you. It's Impressive. Elemental, the hidden chemistry and everything is out now. You can get a copy of it. Thanks for coming on and answering OG's question. Thanks, Dr. Kate. Yeah, thanks, Dr. Kate. Thanks, she guys. Awesome. Kate the chemist. I need Dr. Kate on standby we when I'm doing homework with my... Oh, she's still here. <laughs> she's still uh, part, part of the team. When I'm trying to do homework with my son. Welcome to the team. Okay. It's oh, AP chemistry. Great. Can you guys rattle off things like that? I mean, that's no. not even, right? No. Exactly. No. All right, and Dr. Th thank you very much.